Motorcycles with beautifully curved designs aren't exclusive to Italian brands like Ducati or Bimota. Yamaha managed to grab attention with a different approach. This time, Yamaha broke away from their usual sporty design philosophy by introducing an elegant touring motorcycle concept equipped with cutting edge features of its time. This vision became a reality in 1989 when Yamaha unveiled the concept bike named Morpho 1, which was then refined into Morpho 2 in 1991. Both concepts were showcased at the Tokyo Motor Show and were highly successful, attracting attention and admiration from motorcycle experts around the world. These innovations laid the foundation for the birth of the Yamaha GTS 1000. So are you curious about the unique features and advanced technology of the Yamaha GTS 1000? And who is the genius behind this revolutionary design? Let's delve into the details. Don't skip ahead and enjoy watching. In the late 80s, when motorcycle manufacturers were competing to showcase innovations in design and performance, Yamaha decided to take a different route. They wanted to move away from being known solely as a producer of aggressive sports bikes and opted for the sport touring genre as a new direction. Yamaha focused on creating a futuristic yet aesthetically pleasing design while integrating features and technologies that were unprecedented for the time. This led Yamaha to collaborate with an American designer named James Parker. Parker was not only a racer, but also a design expert with exceptional engineering skills. A graduate of Claremont Men's College, who also earned a BA in design from Stanford University, Parker founded the company Rationally Advanced Design Development, or RADD. This company specialized in developing revolutionary front swing arm suspension technology, which became one of the main features of Yamaha's concept bike. This technology introduced a new approach by separating the suspension and steering functions, creating innovative stability and handling. The development of hub center suspension had its roots with the French company ELF, ELF pioneered hub center steering systems through the ELF E-type concept during the 1980s. This suspension system was utilized in racing motorcycles, such as the LF3, which succeeded in Grand Prix competitions. ELF's suspension focused on optimizing handling on racetracks by innovatively integrating steering and suspension systems. Meanwhile, the RAD technology developed by James Parker took a different approach RAD adopted a front swing arm suspension design that separated the suspension from the steering, providing better stability across various road conditions, including touring. Parker's approach with RAD made the system more relevant for sport touring use, in contrast to ELF's race-oriented design. ELF's development of the hub center steering system was later responded to by Bimota, another company that didn't want to be left behind in innovating suspension technology. The Italian manufacturer introduced the Bimota Tessi in 1990, a motorcycle with a revolutionary design using a unique front suspension system. However, Bimota Tessi had very limited production, made in small numbers for an exclusive market, making it more of a collector's item than a mass production motorcycle. At this point, Yamaha also stepped into the game. In 1993, Yamaha introduced the GTS 1000, a sport touring motorcycle equipped with forkless front suspension based on the RAD system. Unlike the Bimota Tessi, the Yamaha GTS 1000 was mass produced and exported to various countries, making it the first motorcycle with such unique suspension technology available to the global market. This bold step showcased Yamaha's commitment to taking innovation to a broader audience, reaching riders worldwide. In 1992, Yamaha invited the automotive magazine Cycle World to get a first-hand look at the prototype of the Yamaha GTS 1000. In their review, the magazine explained that the Omega frame of the GTS 1000 had a shape reminiscent of the Greek letter Omega, similar to the frame design of the Bimota Tessi. However, the two frames differed in their manufacturing processes. The GTS 1000's Omega frame was cast, while the Bimota Tessi frame was made from machined billet aluminum, 
highlighting a distinct approach to production. Additionally, the Omega frame featured a steel subframe integrated into the mainframe. This subframe supported various critical components, such as the front fairing, handlebars, lighting system, and instruments, while another subframe reinforced the rear section of the bike. This design provided exceptional structural integrity while enhancing the futuristic aesthetics that define the Yamaha GTS 1000. For its powerhouse, Yamaha equipped the GTS 1000 with an engine derived from the FZR 1000, a four-stroke inline four engine with a capacity of 1,002 cubic centimeters, featuring Genesis DOHC 20-valve technology. The engine was modified to meet the demands of the sport touring segment, including adjustments to the camshaft, ignition timing, and a compression ratio of 10.8 to 1. Yamaha also added XUP, Exhaust Ultimate Power Valve technology, to enhance power efficiency across various RPM ranges and a sophisticated electronic fuel injection system for optimal combustion. Since the Yamaha GTS 1000 was intended for the touring segment, the engine was retuned to deliver more linear power and increased torque in the mid-range, ensuring comfort and stability for long-distance rides. The result was an engine that produced 102 horsepower at 9,000 revolutions per minute and a maximum torque of 106 newton meters at 6,500 revolutions per minute, capable of reaching a top speed of 141 miles per hour making it one of the most advanced sport touring motorcycles of its era. Weighing 553 pounds dry and 604 pounds wet, the Yamaha GTS 1000 came equipped with a highly advanced braking system. At the front, it featured a 330 millimeter single disc clamped by six piston calipers, offering precise and effective braking power. The rear employed a 282 millimeter disc with two piston calipers, ensuring optimal braking for both wheels. For the US market, the Yamaha GTS 1000 included an additional feature, anti-lock braking system, ABS, a standard further enhancing rider safety. With high handlebars and a flat seat, the Yamaha GTS 1000 offered maximum comfort for riders especially on long journeys. The instrument panel was futuristic and comprehensive for its time, featuring an analog speedometer and tachometer, fuel gauge, engine temperature indicator, as well as warning lights for oil pressure and the ABS system, available specifically for the US market. The system was seamlessly integrated with advanced engine technology, equipped with modern sensors like electronic fuel injection and XUP control ensuring riders received critical real-time information about the bike's condition. This combination of ergonomic design and cutting-edge features made the GTS 1000 an outstanding touring motorcycle that delivered a safe and comfortable riding experience. Despite its groundbreaking design, the Yamaha GTS 1000 only lasted a year in the U.S. market. One of the main reasons for its short-lived success was its high price tag. Priced at approximately $12,999 at launch, it was considered too expensive for the sport touring segment, especially since its standout feature, the rad front suspension, wasn't fully appreciated by the market at the time. Riders often compared the GTS 1000 to other bikes with more aggressive performance or conventional designs, such as the Kawasaki ZX-11 or Honda ST-1100, which were sold at more competitive prices. As a result, the advanced technology like the forkless suspension and Omega frame structure on the GTS 1000 didn't seem appealing enough to justify its price, particularly for consumers prioritizing speed or economic value. Although Yamaha GTS 1000 was a groundbreaking innovation, it struggled to compete in the US market as its advanced technology was perceived more as a premium add-on rather than a fundamental need, which led to a lack of appeal. So. What are your thoughts about this touring motorcycle featuring Yamaha's forkless suspension system? Feel free to share your stories in the comments section. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, 
and turn on notifications to stay updated on more fascinating motorcycle history videos.